What's up guys, Nostalgio here, back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today we're going to be talking about Brave Tenyi uh, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! current TCG, now in Master Duel. Uh, I think this deck is pretty gross, uh, honestly, I think it's really good. Um, it does a lot of things that I really wanted to do in this format. Um, there's three criteria I was really trying to meet, um, and the main one being Brave Engine. I really want to utilize the Brave Engine um, with an absurd combo, that's the second criteria, is an absurd combo going first. Uh, so I really, and then the third criteria is a lot of hand traps and a lot of like go second cards. The the versatility to be able to go second um, through anything other than scythe lock and then playing enough hand traps to stop scythe lock. So um, I was thinking probably around that 12 number for hand traps to be able to open two hand traps preferably um, because you know um, you have to stop the brave engine and you also have to stop the scythe engine. So if you can stop both of those, I think you can stop the scythe lock. And if you can stop the scythe lock going second and still have a good combo and, and like you know being able to break strong go first boards uh that's that's the main criteria those three criteria and this deck fits all three criteria in somehow um because the engine is so small uh that you can kind of just slap two bodies on board and play the game um so we're playing a lot of hand traps in the full brave engine and then all engine no gas no br or all gas no breaks, even though I just said we're playing 12 hand traps, which is all breaks. So, a very well-rounded um, car? Playing gas and breaks? Uh, anyway, very solid deck. I think this deck's really interesting, and I think there's a lot of places that this deck could go. Um, I think, you know, we can expand upon this deck. Really, really, really crazy, this format. Um, this is obviously an incredibly rough first build. I mean, we don't even have a side deck. So... You know, obviously this this hasn't even been tested. This is just the build that I've been doing test hands with. And I'll show you guys the combo later. It's pretty crazy. Um, and this is just the first iteration of the combo. And that wasn't even with the Cupid pitch stuff. Um, so obviously a lot of different routes this deck could go in the future. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the list. Show off the list. So um, first off, we're playing the full 9 card Brave Engine. The 3 Water Enchantress, 3 Right, 1 Griffin, 1 Faithful, and 1 Draco back. Uh, I like the Draco back. It gives you a free discard for the Griffin, and because because uh, yeah, we're playing a lot of hand traps, and you don't really want to discard any cards because the Vishuda and Ashna can just be like free extenders. Um, even though like they make sense to discard, um, they also make sense to not want to discard because they're just a free body you can slap on board. Um, that can be half of a Needle Fiber, it can be half of a Baron, uh, a little over half, I guess technically level wise, but half of a Baron. So. Um, all these cards, I just don't really want to discard, so Draco back just makes sense. I think it's pretty crazy. You know, you go right um, into Fateful, uh, Summon, Vishuda, Ashna, anything like that, starts the Draco back, um, and then you're just playing. Or Normal Summon the Red Rose, starts the Draco back, and then Summon the Wandering, and it's, it's pretty crazy. So I'm playing the full 9 card Brave Engine. I think in this list you should. Uh, next, we played the um, Tenyi cards. So I played 3 Ashna and 3 Vishuda. These are just the best ones. Um, they're level 7, that free, free Summon on board. Uh... You summon them, and then normal summon Red Rose, and you're into full combo. Or you summon them, and then you e tally out o Ghost Ogre, and then you go into Hulk, and then you go full combo. So, um, really, the whole deck is just like, can how can we full combo and, uh, you know, draw Brave? So, that's really what you want. You want Brave, Hand Traps, Combo. And Combo is basically in these cards, um, out of like a huge amount of them. And almost every Hand Trap works towards it, too. Um, half of them. Ash and Ghost Ogre both are level 3 tuners, which make combo happen. Uh, and Wander and Griffin is a searchable make combo happen because you summon it, go into Brave, uh, and it's, you know, pretty insane. Or go into Baron, so, like, you keep your Omni Negate through this whole combo. Um, so it's really powerful. So that is the uh, Vashuda. I'm not playing, like, the Adara, like, any of the other cards. Like, these just do it. Um, I did consider, like, one Adara to summon off Ashna, but I, I didn't really want to add more cards that we don't want to draw. Um, because in this list, there's a lot of cards you don't want to draw. You don't want to really draw any of these three pieces of the engine, of the Brave engine. Uh, you don't want to draw either of these two pieces of the Red Rose engine. Uh, and you don't want to draw this for the Cupid Pitch. You don't want to draw either of these from the Auroradon combo. So that's, what, three, five, eight cards we don't really want to be drawing? Three, two, five, eight. And then uh, Long Yan, honestly, you don't really want to draw either. Or Taie. You don't want to draw any of those, to be honest. So there's, like, ten cards you don't really want to draw. Um... Which is, like, an absurd amount of cards. Obviously, all of them work still for combo uh, most of the time. But you still don't want to draw them. Especially, like, the Rose cards. You don't want to draw those because you just want to see the Red Rose engine um, into those. So, yeah. But Red Rose, I think, summons from hand, too. 
uh, from your hander deck. Yeah, so most of them, as long as you can still get to combo, it's fine to draw them. Same with, like, 001 and uh, not Colt Wing. But uh, almost every card you can still, like, play if you draw them. Um, anyway, the next cards uh, are the Rose Dragon cards. Um, so we played the triple Red Rose, one Basil Shoot, and one Rocks Rose. So if you don't know the combo, you, um, Red Rose, when it's synchroed with, you get to summon this out of your deck. And then this gets to search this, which this is just Monster Reborn, essentially, um, for one of these two. So you synchro summon with this. And then, and you can summon this off of Hulk, um, and then you synchro into Baron, and then you get this guy, and then you have one of these engrave, and then you make Yazi, pop it with the Baron, and then, um, yeah, go into your Sword Soul engine. So that's pretty much that. As far as the Sword Soul engine goes, we've just played the one Taie and the one Long Yon. Um, Long Yon is really cool because you can search it off of Shishao. Um, we could also play um, Blackout theoretically in this, but I think this is more gas going second, like... Going second, I didn't want to draw. I don't really want to see the blackout, and that's another card you don't want to draw. Equal parts as Long Yon. Um, so, yeah, Long Yon, I just thought was better. But uh, not going to lie, uh, in a lot of my, like, combos, uh, it's been kind of dead in hand because we didn't have, like, a discard, uh, another Worm or a Sword Soul card. So it's kind of weird. Uh, this guy doesn't always come out, but uh, you don't always have to, like, summon these uh, as an extender. So you can, like, save it as the discard for Long Yon. Um, yeah, there's a lot of lines in this deck um, that are like kind of weird and kind of like depend on it, but Long, Long Yan is one of them. Um, so this is like a card that I'm like debating on cutting. But uh, going first and second, it just like puts up another body, and like Cheng Ying is really good, and you can do that pretty early and then like blow through boards a little easier. So I don't know yet. Uh, I haven't decided, but um, yeah, this card's pretty cool. Then we played uh, the Taiye. Taiye is the main one, part of the combo. You uh, pop Yazi with Baron, and then go into Taiye, banish the Yazi, go into Qixiao, um, go into Longyon. So that just goes through the whole combo, and those two cards just kind of make it work, uh, which is really cool. Uh, the Triple E Telly, this is just a really good consistency card. It just puts out a body on board, and we're playing Ghost Ogre as a hand trap anyway, so it's really good. Uh, I'm playing the two Ghost Ogre because, you know, if you draw it, you still want to have one in deck for the E Telly. Um, honestly, three of this wouldn't be bad. If I do end up cutting cards like Creation Resonator or um, the Long Yan, really anything, um, Ghost Ogre is probably the main card that I'll, I'll just add in because it's a good hand trap um, and it's good going second. You can just E-Tally plop it on board when your opponent has like um, Appaloosa on the field uh, or a Wandering Griffin of their own. So it's good going second, um, but it also is good like stopping plays. So it, it's pretty solid. And then um, a couple bricks, uh, the Resonator for the Cupid Pitch combo, the 001 and the Auroradon, uh, or the Colt Wing for the Auroradon stuff. Oh, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> and then uh, and then Hand Traps. So then I played two Ogres, three Imperm, three Ash, and three Gamma and the Driver. So the main reason I'm playing all these cards, these cards are all really good. So um, Gamma, if my opponent, like, Ash is my, um, you know, Water Enchantress, that's pretty free. And then uh, same with if I go Itali and they go... Um, you know, stop it. But a lot of the time, we're gonna like stop one of these guys on board if we're going for like an E Telly setup uh, without the brave stuff. So Gamma's kind of weird, but Gamma's just like solid going second. It's really, uh, it's like a high impact, uh, high impact, low impact, because <clears throat> uh, it only stops one thing, but it destroys it and it can stop it from anywhere. So this card's just really good right now. I think, um, I think it's really powerful. Like going second, this is one of the mo the highest impact. And if you um, side in Lancia, which we're gonna um, like a lot of the time. Uh, Lancia plus Gamma is like full combo on top of Negate and if they can't out it um, You just like start your turn with a free needle fiber go into the full Hulk combo if it gets stopped Whatever you go into your actual like full engine. So like yeah, it's pretty gross um, post side as well with Lancia and then um, Ash and Imperm are just both like really solid um, Just like low impact hand traps, you know, they stop like a good bit of things in the in the game and uh, Imperm and Ghost Ogre are the only ones that if you draw as your sixth card, they're powerful so um, yeah, that's why I like wanted to play these cards pretty badly. Um, so yeah, that is the main deck. Uh, definitely some stuff will change. I haven't done this combo yet. Like w with the Cupid pitch, it just hasn't happened yet. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It might get cut, but like that board is so gross anyway. Like Herald of Arclight, Boralode Savage, Baron, Hulk. It's good. It's so good. So I don't know, man. Uh, I don't really want to cut it, but I haven't done it yet. Um, into the extra deck, we have the Auroradon. Um, the Draco sack, this is, this is going to get cut, I think. Uh, so like the extra deck is net decked from somebody else. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's optimal. It's definitely not op optimized, but, uh, there's a lot of places it can go. Draco sack's a very weird one though. Um, yeah. One Baron, honestly, this could be two. Like I, I'm not, uh, I, I'm considering playing a second Baron. Um, the Herald for the combo, for the Cupid pitch combo, the Cupid pitch for the Cupid pitch combo, board load for that combo as well. Ching Ying, Chick Shao. Um, for, you know, our main combo, 
Um, Yazi for the main combo. You, the combo's at the end of the video, guys. If you don't know what combo I'm talking about, it's at the end of the video. So that's five minutes of the video. Um, Crystal Wing, I haven't made him yet. Monk, uh, like, that just makes sense. Going second, like, breaking boards with Shuda and, like, going into, like, plays with Ashna, like, it just makes sense. Um, Hauk for the combo. Um, they were right on there. Boxia going second, it's just good. Satellite Warrior is a really interesting card um, with the Formula Synchro on. This is part of the combo. Um, end on Hauk, Chi Shao. That way, you can become a Pop 2, which is really, really powerful. Pop 3, um, potentially as well. So, yeah, Pop Pop, like, crazy, crazy. Um, so, yeah, that's the deck. Uh, a lot of things can change for sure. If you guys have any input, um, put it down in the comments. But uh, that's really all I have for the video, um, for the deck profile. Let's go ahead and do the combo input down in the comments down below. Other than that, uh, to the combo. All right, guys, we're into the combo, getting the combo going here. Um, it really feels like just about any hand can get the combo going. Uh, if you have, like, any tenues in your hand, uh, Rocks Rose, or not Rocks Rose, Red Rose, um, or e -Telly, you kind of just go. And the Brave Engine also, like, is a big uh, addition to the hand because you want, you know, that. And then uh, also, like, going second cards. Like, this deck goes second, like, really easily as long as you don't play against, like, Scythe deck. Um, so, yeah, not bad. So, let's go ahead and banish the Water Enchantress, get ourselves a right. Right gets us uh, Fateful and a token. Special summon out the Vashuda. That way we can search the Draco back free discard for um, Griffin. So we're going to get Draco back, and then we're going to search Griffin, discarding the Draco back. Draco back equips to the token. Pretty cool. And then we summon our Griffin Rider. So now we are, you know, under Nib, um, or, you know, under under Nib while going over it with uh, the Negate. So we have an Omni Gate on the field. Pretty good. So we're going to Utelli out that Ghost Ogre, and then we're going to make those into the Halky Fibrox, get into the Red Rose Dragon Engine. Special out the Red Rose, and then sink the Red Rose and the Griffin into a Baron. We still have our Omni Gate on the field, so we're still playing under. Um, you know, cards like Nib and, and of the sort. If they have Nib Gamma, well, they're just better than me. Um, so, yeah, we special out that guy. And then the Red Rose specials out Rocks Rose, searching us a Basil Rose shoot. So now we have two additional, you know, bodies, essentially. Um, so we're going to so we're gonna Synchro the Re Rocks Rose and the token, the Adventure token, into the Ying Zing. Um, the Yazi Draco back should be off the field. I th think I just left that there by accident, but oh well. Um, and then we're going to use Baron to pop our own Yazi. And Taiye is going to then search, uh, or not search, summon a token, banishing the Yazi. And then we're going to synchro those two together and make a Chi Shao, which is going to then search us a Long Yun and the uh, Ashna we're going to dump off of the Taiye. So now we have two negates, um, which is a pretty good place, you know, that you could stop if you needed to, if you don't have anything. Um, but we still do have Ashuna and the Rose Shoot in hand, guaranteed. Um, I misclick or not misclick but uh i realized soon after that we can't do the long yawn here um because we don't have a guy but that's okay um we're gonna basil rose shoot bring back um one of our dragons and then ashuna special out the vishuda and then we're gonna synchro summon um using the rocks rose and the vishuda for a ching ying so now um this hand ends on baron chi xiao and ching ying and the Halki fibrox which as you can see here we're gonna go to the end phase and um this Halki Fibrox can tag out during my opponent's turn into Formula Synchron, and Formula Synchron um, draws this card, which could draw into a hand trap, as you see here. This is not a hand trap we can use, but it's a hand trap. Um, you know, so if it was any other hand trap, that'd be cool. And then you Synchro that and the Chi Xiao into this Satellite Warrior Man um, who pops X amount for how many Synchros you have in the grave, which is two here. Um, so it's going to be a quick play to pop two. So instead of sort searching... Um, you know, uh, instead of searching the the blackout, we have blackout basically on legs with the uh, the synchron. So, um, you know, we had the negate from Chi Shao, the negate from Baron, and the satellite warrior um, pop two. We also have um, you know x amount of hand traps in hand, the ghost ogre in hand, and uh, also another play that you can do is you can tag out the Baron for something. Um, you know, here here nothing is really that cool. But then you can put it back and then summon the formula synchron and then use those to make another baron. Um, so that's, you know, an, uh, an interesting way to do it. If you had to use your baron negate on your turn um, to, you know, hit like a Nibiru um, or any kind of hand trap, r really any hand trap. Uh, and then you want that negate to be live. You know, you're fearing something on your opponent's turn, you know, any kind of like mass board negate or wipe, anything like that. Having baron could be pretty good. So then you can... Uh, you know, use the formula synchron and the chi shao to make the baron to have a second baron negate because it can only be used once while it's on the field. So, 
it's just solid. Um, you know, you have two different options there, the Satellite Warrior or the Baron. I'm currently not playing uh, Prosperity or anything, but a lot of these cards you can banish off of Prosperity um, just as extra options. But I, I'm just, like I said, I'm not really doing that. So, um, But yeah, that is, uh, that's the main combo. Uh, there's definitely a lot of variations to the combo and uh, a lot of like weird things. I mean, I didn't even do Aurora Dawn combo there. Um, if you go into the Brave Engine, it's kind of hard because Brave Engine takes up two of your spots. But if you don't use the Brave Engine, you can go into the Halk Aurora on combo as Plan A, and then when that gets stuffed, you can go into Plan B, which is the Red Rose stuff. Um, so a lot of different like versions of this deck is like going around right now. So I'm really you know interested in seeing what kind of ways you guys would approve upon this deck. Um, this is still obviously a very rough build. Um, I mean, I'm playing like O One, the Resonator guy um, with the Cupid Pitch combo. Uh, you don't even have to run that stuff, probably. Like, I'm considering cutting a couple more of those, like, combo pieces um, just for more hand traps so that we can just play, like, 12 hand traps and then, like, all the the um, tendy stuff is good going second and the board can, like, put up a really good board going first. And that was kind of the criteria um, that I needed to figure out for this deck. And I think we got it pretty good, but there's still some stuff that can be cut for sure. Anyway, um, that is going to be it for the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really makes a difference. And, of course, I have the TCG affiliate link in the description down below. Um, you know, it costs you no, no extra and directly supports the channel, and I would really appreciate it. Anyway, that is going to be it. Have a good week, and goodbye.